how to learn anything you want in life. What's up everyone? Welcome of you back to my channel Anthony Lee GMC. Yeah, and the video today I want to share with you about the technique that you can help you to learn anything you want in life. Well, so let me be honest first, this technique is not made up by myself, but this technique is the technique that I learned from the education on medium that's uh, created by the author that's called Duncan Rias here, PhD, who focuses on uh, machine intelligence and he also an engineer and psychology. So he created an article that say about the technique how people can apply to learn anything you want in life and I will sell you the link below that you can uh, read the original post that the Duncan already created on Medium yeah so when I read his article I feel that the technique he presents is really good and I also apply many of them in my life to learn a lot of things before so I decided to make this video today to share with you about the technique that he presents as well as to use my own story to support for the idea that he present to see how we can learn anything. So the first technique that the Duncan recommend for us if you want to learn anything is you need to cultivate your growth mindset. Yeah. So in general in the life we have the two types of people. The first one is the type of person that believes that their intelligence and their capabilities is limited. So it means that they cannot grow this, they just have the limitation in belief that okay, my intelligence is like that and I will never can get this level. But in another way, we have a kind person who have to grow myself, it means that they believe that the knowledge, the intelligence and the capabilities that can improve when they really want to put the effort and really uh, study to achieve this. So this means that when you really want to uh, learn anything, the first thing is you need to have the mindset that you can learn it. That's pretty obviously, right? But for many people, they will think that, okay, this one I never tried before, so it's so hard and I don't know how to do this, so they quit it. So this the reason why the people cannot learn that skill. Like me, before I never know how to make a video just around four years ago yeah i never know how to make a video how to public on youtube and how to create the social media content on a different social media platform for the education purpose beginning i really struggle when i used to make a video with my friend i just sit next to him and wait him for 12 hours just for five minutes very simple video yeah and now i can make a video up to a half hour and it just take me around two or three hour maximum that's with a lot of effect and with a lot of the transitions so when you have the grow mindset and you believe that you can learn you can grow it means that you give yourself an opportunity to learn something new but when you don't have the grow mindset you think that your abilities are limited so you cannot learn something new so the first thing very important let's cultivate your grow mindset so how you do this? The best way you do this is every single day spend the time for learning something new. You can learn from reading the content on the medium like I reading and I create the content like that for you. It's all about the content that I learned from medium. Or the second one that you can watch on some video on YouTube or you can read the news. So we have a lot of free content online now and we also have the online library, everything for free with the internet. So just use this advantage of the internet of the globalization and learning more, growing yourself more. The second technique that helps you to learn anything is about teaching what you learn. Yeah, so I used to make a video about this one that I call the Rule 5050. So it's so more clear about well, why you should teaching what you learn. So it doesn't mean that you need to study PhD or study master about something and have a, a lot of knowledge about a few that you can teach another people. For example, like if you want to learn Chinese and you already learned Chinese for a week, you already can teach someone who never learned Chinese before and just start at the day one of learning Chinese. And when you start to teaching the people what you learn, so 
It gives you the second time to learning something and it also gives you the more motivation that's okay now you need to look at the content you need to look at the what you learn in the angle of the teacher not in the angle of the student so you will have the broader angle to see and then you can recognize and remember more information about the thing that you really want to learn compared to when you just learning by yourself and you don't teach order so like make sure to check out the rule 50 50 after watching this video that you can know more about the way how to apply the rule 50 50 well and the technique number three is create something based on what you learn so it's very basically that uh, when you study something like you study about stock market and so for example like when I study about the stock market in the university and I just study everything in theoretical so I decided that I made the stock um, account and then I just put few hundred dollars in this and start to do some buy and sell stock on uh, the real market to see that's how it works so this is the way that's how you apply the knowledge that you already learned to the realities by create something new or by really uh, work on this one so you make the theoretical thing that you already learned to be the practical thing so it's help you to save more time to remember the thing that you learn because when you do the thing in realities it's help you to have uh, the feeling, you see it, you feel it, then you really work on this one. And so it helps you to learn faster and more effectively. So when you learn something new, try to create something based on what you learn, not just learn about theoretical thing. This is the technique number three. And the technique number four that Duncan present this is learn gradually. So what it mean? It means that instead of just, just focus on studying a lot of content or a lot of things in the short time it means that you study uh, the thing for intense like you prepare for a test in uh, for a week and then you just focus on a way to study all host matter this is incredible crazy i mean maybe you can pass the subject but it's not effectively when you want to keep the information that you learn for a long time or you want really to understand it this time you just actually you just try to pass the test not really learning so learn gradually it means that you spend the time to learn the thing step by step for example like when i study in my university instead of i learning to prepare for the test for a week i start to learning at the beginning of the semester so i just study a little bit a little bit every day that's when the teacher teach us something new and i come back i just review for five minutes but i keep doing this frequently and daily so when uh, near to the uh, test time i don't need to put a lot of attention to learn for the test because i already learned this for a whole semester so this is the way that's how you learn gradually so instead of that you learning a lot of things in the short periods of time and just one or two times and now when you learn gradually it means that you consume a small number of the knowledge and then you learn it again and again and again so you learn the piece of information not only one time but maybe five times or even ten times yeah so it's help you to remember better and longer all the things that you want to learn and the technique number five is learn what you love it's here very obviously right so it means that if you don't love the thing that you want to learn you very hard to learn this so let's remember about the time when you study in the university or in the high school you have the subject that you don't want to learn for example a math or you know, for example a history and at that time when you don't like this type of subject and you study it's very hard for you to enjoy this one and you get the good score or really make the uh, good progress on learning this subject or any skill that you really want to learn so you need to practice the habit that you love the thing that you want to learn because when you don't feel that you love the thing that you want to learn you cannot learn well and you cannot keep it yeah very basically so try yourself to love the thing that you want to learn first because if you had the thing that you want to learn how can you want to accept this for example like 
if you had someone, do you want to be the friend with them? Do you want to spend more time to hang out with them, or do you just want to leave them far away you as far as you can? Yeah. So this is the way. So the answer is you. And the technique number six is using the learning system. So it means that everyone will have the different learning system. It means that you will have your own learning system. It's the way how you learn that can make you to get the most. So for example, like the learning system in me, this is the rule 50-10. It means that every one hour I study, I will put 50 minutes for focus. And then I spend the rest 10 minutes just for relaxing. Yeah, this is the way that's how I do. This is called my learning system. I have the formula for myself to learn. So I will try to control the time for learning and control the time for rest. That's have the time between the learning and the rest is can be balanced. And it's helped me to refresh myself as well as help me to feel more comfortable to do the thing that I love. So when you study, try to give yourself a learning system that you feel comfortable. Maybe someone they will be comfortable to study early in the morning, or maybe someone feel comfortable when they study in the noise uh, place like the coffee shop, somewhere like that. So it depends on you. So you will need to figure out what is the really good learning system that's affordable for you, and then from that you choose to focus on using this learning system to help you to learn the thing that you want to do because for example like if i really good when i learning for 50 minutes uh, learning and 10 minutes for break and now i change this into learning uh continuous, continuously two hour it doesn't work for me so it's me that it's broke my learning system and it's not create a good impact on my learning process so these are the six techniques that help you to learn anything that you want in life that I learned from Duncan and I think that is very useful especially when I look back about me about the process that's how I learning and uh, apply a lot of new information so I feel that this technique is really engaged with me and this is the reason that's why I made the video today to share with you about the technique that's it really good for me and Duncan and this technique it also be filtered on the medium about education so uh, it also can be well known that this technique is really good and be uh, accepted by lots of professional people on the medium yeah so thank you so much for watching this video today and this is the end of the video today but I want to see you more in here so this one is the series of lockdown and grow so where I will sharing a video every single day to show you something new that I learned during the lockdown time in COVID-19 in Melbourne and thank you so much for watching this video and see you in few seconds here in this series lockdown and grow